How's it going guys? I got a really cool video for you today. Something I recently discovered how to do and it is wireless charging of your phone. Ooh, using a cable and some duct tape, your phone of course, your scissors and neodymium magnets. So this is a DIY, therefore I wanna keep it as easy and friendly for everybody as possible. So, picked up a cheap cable, doesn't have to be an expensive one. Notice how I cut off the tips over here. Then what you wanna do is you wanna take a pair of scissors or anything you have and cut off the other side as well. This, we can use this later, but we don't need that right now. So a lot of people know that magnets and electricity are intertwined because electricity creates magnetic fields. So we are going to be using this to our advantage to create our wireless charger. What I have over here is insulated cables. And what this is, is basically um, an electrical cable that has some kind of insulator on the outside which prevents electricity from touching it if it touches itself or anything else that's metal. So quickly, quickly, on a side note, switch out your duct tape for electrical tape or if you have any uh, scotch tape that works too because it has a lower resistance than duct tape. And we won't want to get any insulators in the way of our wireless charger. So what I'm gonna do over here is I'm gonna tape this over itself. You might be asking yourself, why are you not doing this for the positive and negative? Well, you see, when the wire hooks into your phone and it receives the signals from this wire, it's gonna agitate all the electrons inside the positive and negative terminals and they're going to react accordingly and it'll still have the effect of charging your phone. So right now, we're taking this cable and this wire, and essentially we're going to be creating a mini Tesla coil by wrapping this wire around this piece of tape and um, iPhone mail charger port, just like this. It doesn't matter if it overlaps because as I mentioned before, this is insulated cable. Now you can do this with plastic, but you will not get a charge that's as effective. So this should be adequate. And now what we're going to do is take our trusty pair of scissors, cut the air other side off, and phase one is complete, ladies and gentlemen. Now, over on the other end, we wanna make sure that we increase the amount of magnets because we do want a stronger signal that is going to be propelling itself into the air to reach our charging port on our phone. Now over here what I've done is I've used three times as many magnets which will amplify the voltage from the giving end of the USB to the receiving end of the USB which will create a stronger connection through the air. Now I'm just going to be wrapping this around and since we're using three times as many magnets we have to use three times as many, well as much wiring so we can handle the increased amount of voltage. There we go. I think that this primary transformer winding is complete. Now, I'm ready to give this a try. And this should work uh, with, um, now. If we take this and compare it to this, we can see that the magnets in here are three times thicker. We also have three times as much wire. Now on this side, we have three times as little wiring, which means that our connection is going to be three times as strong. So now, what we wanna do is take our phone, Plug this side in, and now we're going to go and plug this side in. Using a standard wall charger should be more than adequate. So we're gonna be just putting this in here, this in here, and let's go and check back. Let's turn this on, and look at that. It is charging, no wire connected to the wall. This is pretty amazing. I'm gonna go and test how far we can do this. So let's go over here. As you can see, our charger is still active. I gotta say guys, I did not think that this would actually work at this much of a distance. I'm just astonished. I just wanna say I hope you guys really liked this video. I can't believe this actually worked. I wanted to make this as DIY as possible. As you can see, there are no tricks, there's no wires. It's all right in front of your face and it is legit. I saw so many of these videos and I had to try it myself and see if it worked, but I had to make a slight modification. Now, as opposed to the methods that use the two different windings, 
Mine uses a more of a transformer and electromagnetic concept in which the electrons get excited from this side and you can see that, look at that. Look at that, that's crazy. All right, I just wanna say I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And if you want more close up on how I did this, feel free to leave a comment asking me for advice. I'll be more than happy to show how I did this in more detail. Ugh. I hope you guys have just as successful as an experience as I did and hope that you guys start enjoying your wireless charging as easy as I did.